Hello YouTubers. This is a basic tutorial about how to get MO6 sounds recorded into Appleton Live without using MIDI or VSTs. If you use Steinberg based music editing software then you will be able to use Studio Manager as a VST which makes life a hell of a lot easier. But if you're like me and you use Sonar or like Erica who uses Ableton Live then you've got to find another way of doing it. The basics. You've got your MO6. What you want now is some kind of audio box. Now I've got the uh, Ederol UA4FX audio box. It was £89. I think you might be able to get it a bit cheaper than that now. But this has been a real lifesaver for me. I've been able to do my vocals in there, stick basses in there, guitars, everything that I can hook up to a jack lead I can stick in there. It has made my life a hell of a lot easier and I would strongly recommend either getting this or getting some kind of audio box because one of the problems that I had before I got this is that I had to keep putting various different leads into the back of my computer where my sound card was and this was just really really annoying. Now there are some sound cards which you have which stick out the front of your computer but again if you see there there's my computer trying to get to that all the time with wires sticking out the front would just be a nightmare so I would strongly suggest getting some kind of audio box it's hooked up to my mixer which you don't really need I just have that because of various other different reasons and then it's put into the back of my audio box Appleton Live now I've only used this a couple of times so I'm very new to this and basically I just had a look at it to try and help out Erica to try and find a way of getting MO6 sounds recorded into Appleton Live. First of all what you need to do is hook up your MO6 to your computer somehow. Now if you haven't got an audio box then what you want to do is stick a jack lead into the headphone socket on your MO6, get some kind of converter plug like this it's not this one it's the opposite to this one basically you want to stick this size of jack lead into to make it into a smaller one so that you can then put it into the mic socket in the back of your sound card or I think on some computers there's a mic socket on the front of the computer so basically you want the output on your MO6 coming out of the headphone socket to go into the input mic socket so that it will record the sound. So there's Appleton Live. Now first of all what we want to do is check the settings. So you go to options, scroll down to preferences and that brings up this box. As you can see I've got the Ederol in the input and output and it's also clicked on the input on the MIDI ports. Now I'm not really sure if that setup is correct but it seems to work for me and like I say this is a very basic tutorial so I've got me sound, what you want is the sound card in the input and output. So that's the setting sorted. Now on here you've got two little bars. Now what you want to make sure is when you press the keys on your MO6 that you have those two little green bars showing some kind of activity. Without that you're not going to get any sounds going into your computer and you won't be able to record anything. So that is crucial. Right, what you want to do is uh, there's a little red record button there. Basically you need to click on that to arm the audio track ready for recording. You've got all your settings sorted, the little green bars are showing up. Now what you want to do is press the record button at the top, press play and then press something on your keyboard. Then you press spacebar to stop and then spacebar to play again. And there you have it lovely jubbly and that is how to get sounds from your MO6 onto Appleton Live 
I hope this has helped. And like I say, like I've said a couple of times already, if anyone knows a better way of doing it, then please do a video response or a comment. I normally use Sonar, so I'm not used to Appleton Live at all. But if you have any questions, then I will try and answer them as best I can. But I have very limited knowledge of this software. I hope this has helped Erica, and I hope it's helped anyone else who doesn't know how to put MO6 sounds into Appleton Live. Maybe sometime in the future, Yamaha will decide to make the VST element of Studio Manager more available to other pieces of software. Until then, um, this is the only way that you can do it. There you go. There's my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you all later.